Welcome back. The EQT 10 miler is this Sunday. The course starts near Station Square, then winds its way through parts of the West End, the North Shore and the Strip District and finishes downtown near the EQT building. Top athletes from around the world are coming in for the race, but recreational runners are welcome too. One of the elite athletes is with us this morning, along with race director Patrice Matamoris, and we want to welcome Kellen Taylor. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. I think that we just have to just say this. We're not going to ignore the elephant in the room here. You are, in U.S. history, the seventh fastest woman of all time in the U.S. In the marathon, yes. In the marathon. Yeah. How fast can you run? What are we uh, talking here? In June, I ran Grandma's Marathon, and I ran 224.29. Unbelievable. So that's five, I think 529, 530 per mile. And you've been running your entire life. I have. Since you were in sixth grade, you said? Yep, cross country and track. And your knees are doing okay. <laughs> knees are good so far. <laughs> knock on wood. Somebody out there, knock on wood. So um, tell us what, what drew you to Pittsburgh. Because I know you were here in 2013 for a race for the Liberty Miler, right? Um, so what, what brought you back this year to run this? You know, when I was here last time, I just it was a fantastic city. I think the community is amazing. Um, and the race itself, when I went, when I was here doing Liberty Mile, it was a fantastic race. It was well organized, um, and just figured it would be a great time to come back and do, you know, ten times the distance. And you know, it's probably nothing for you when you're running 26 usually. I mean, <laughs> it's still a lot. Yeah, it'll be a lot faster hopefully than the marathon pace. So, Patrice, I know it's Sunday, but can people still sign up? They really can, yes. We're still taking registrations at this point, and um, the big thing that we're doing now, uh, because of the Tree of Life Synagogue and all of the different things that happened last, last week, uh, we're donating $1 per mile that everybody runs on Sunday. So it's a way to make your miles count. It's a way to give back, and uh, the proceeds will go back to the Jewish Federation and first responders. Wow. So... So for every runner, we're talking $10 for each of those runners. Exactly. Unbelievable. So, and EQT is uh, splitting that with us, so it's a do it'll be a split donation between EQT and P3R. I, we've seen all week long the need and the desire for people to want to give back, so I think it's incredible you guys are pitching in, too. It is, and speaking of first responders, uh, Kellen also didn't tell you she is <laughs> going to be a firefighter. Oh, there She is a firefighter, has gone through her training, too. Oh, that's great, and, and where are you from? I didn't even ask what city you're from. Flagstaff, Arizona. Okay, and, and that is something else that we should mention because a lot of people come from other states to run in this race. They do. We have uh, people from over 30 different states, and we do have a couple of different people from out of country, too. So this is a really great race and brings people in to see fall and Pittsburgh in fall. So for people who are maybe on the fence about running this, would you say this is an easier race? I mean, it's like mostly kind of flat, right? It is. It, it's a really great race because it's the half marathon course backwards, less three miles. So it gives you a different perspective of the city and it also gives you a really nice as flat as it can be in Pittsburgh because it's <laughs> low down near the rivers. So, and it's also really the last fall race in Pittsburgh. Uh, in terms of in the big city. So uh, it's a great race for people to come out and we'll have over 4,200 runners. And I know Ron Smiley is like the lead uh, meteorologist for Sunday and the weather looks good too. Oh yeah, thank Exciting. heavens <laughs> it does. <laughs> thank you both for joining us. Congratulations on your title too. It's very, thank you. very amazing. Again, this year's EQT 10 miler is this Sunday, November 4th. If you're not running, come out to cheer along the race course. You can look for full details at kdka.com slash PTL.